Meanwhile, House Speaker Sonny Belmonte also advised his Vice President Binay to appear before the Senate subcommittee to defend himself from corruption allegations against him. Belmonte is confident that the senators will respect Binay because he is the country's Vice President. This report. Although Speaker Feliciano Belmonte is against the filing of an impeachment complaint against Vice President George Omar Binay, Kaloocan City Congressman Edgardo Erisa said he has the right to proceed with his plan once the Senate Blue Ribbon Subcommittee releases its report on its current investigation of alleged overpricing of the Makati City Parking Building 2. Erise also said his complaint will be based on the failure of the Vice President to declare truthfully his statement of assets and liabilities for 2011 and 2012 in connection with two properties in Tagaytay City and his estate in Rosario, Batangas. Erise's complaint will charge B9 for betrayal of public trust. Buhay Party List Congressman Lito Atienza said Erise's attempt will fail for lack of support from his allies from the Liberal Party and the ruling majority in the House. I'm doing this not for anybody but for our country. Uh, I won't stand to benefit from it. From this advocacy. That is within its own right. Magfile. Magfile siya, pero whether the body will agree with him, I don't know about that. Marami pa rin mga congressmen manang naniniwala at nag-iisip ng tama. Hindi katulad ni Congressman Elise. However, Speaker Belmonte said it's time for the Vice President to face the Senate inquiry to personally answer all the allegations raised by his detractors. Based on an SWS survey, eight of every ten Filipinos believe the Vice President should testify since the people have the right to know the truth. Because of the BNI bashing for the past two months, his trust ratings has gone down. So with his ratings for the presidential race in 2016. It's now up to BNI to make the call, speak out, or just maintain his silence. I'm really for advising him to go ahead and appear there. Because uh, and he should, he should. And they will respect him because he's the vice president of the Philippines after all. And he has uh, people who are... Uh, for him within the Senate. And uh, they should also attend and not uh, just uh, wash their hands of it. If not, it's the most logical thing to do. There is an uh, accusation, uh, a very credible accusation, because it came from his former friends. So he has to explain. You cannot just dismiss it as a lie without explaining, because there are uh, documents being presented. Yes, I will pursue the impeachment. I will file it as soon as I get hold of the documents from the Senate uh, Blue Ribbon Committee. I will wait for their initial uh, report and uh, I'll get all the documents and uh, uh, I'll pursue it. No doubt, siyempre may effect to yan. Yung mga hindi pa disidido, eh, maaaring ma-influence yung uh, bashing na yan. Yang uh, character assassination na yan, yang nakikita at naririnig natin araw-araw tungkol sa mga paratang. Kaya magkaka-epekto yan. Pero whether uh, it will uh, totally eradicate the chances of the Vice President, I don't think so. For the People's Television Network, this is Freddy Abando reporting.